game day often feels like a celebration. Nova Nation reveling in its pride. It's a chance to see the best the Wildcats have to offer and to chart the growth of others who have created their own path. Eleven letters on the back of a jersey sounds like an equipment manager's nightmare, but Chris Archidiacono couldn't be a better fit. And last season, after seeing little game action, he was thrust into the spotlight and onto the floor after injuries to Colin Gillespie and Justin Moore. The newfound playing time came in the season's final days and meant a key role for a team in the postseason. It would be easy to be intimidated or at least nervous. Unless, of course, your name is Archie Diacono. Not really. I, I knew I could do it. I was playing with the same guys that I was going to be playing with in the games every day at practice. So uh, we had a little connection. And, and uh, so I knew it would be a quick transition for uh, our team to play Villanova basketball. Chris Arch is, is a great example of players that get better in practice and don't need to be in a game to improve. Um, everybody on our team last year watched Chris every day get better, and and we would say to him as a staff, Arch, be ready. Like you know, we, we haven't got you in there yet, but we have great confidence in you. We'll throw you in there at any time. Coach really means that. I'll throw you in at any time. Uh, you might not necessarily get reps and practice on the blue team, the first team, but I'll throw you in. I have confidence that you you know what you're doing. Um, you've been here. You're a leader. Um, so he, he does an amazing job as far as bringing energy every day at practice, and he knows uh, no matter what point of the game he can be called on, he, he knows that he needs to come in and do a good job, and he does that. Once you do it for so long, it just becomes a habit, and you just do it uh, whenever you're on the basketball court. So it does uh, make it easier. You're not really thinking about how to play Villanova basketball. You just have it in the back of your mind, so you can just go out there and play freely. Everyone knew it was Arch's time, and everyone knew Arch was ready. So it didn't surprise anybody on the team when he played the way he did. But we understand why it surprised people outside, because you didn't get to see him in game time on the court. Chris embodied the approach of a true Villanova basketball player, in word and in deed, literally right down to the end. He bleeds blue and white. He's Villanova uh, to the core. Uh, he's watched the moment all his life. He's watched his brother, so he understands what it takes. To see that how much pride he took in and playing the way we do, I was just super excited when he got on the floor. I, I remember like watching the game. I literally got up off my feet. I like jumped on one leg because I was still <laughs> with my crutches on and was like screaming at my TV. It was so crazy. The rare court appearance from last season has given way to increased minutes and a bigger role this year. And now his presence is no longer a surprise. As he continues to refine his game, Archie Diacono is now more assertive on the floor, taking on responsibility with ease. That controlled confidence comes from having been there. To get that experience when he was able to play in the, in the Big East tournament, start for us, have to play a lot of minutes, and then go play in the NCAA tournament, it's invaluable experience for a guy who now, on a team where guys have come back, we're very veteran, you know, heavy. Um, he's a guy who is ready to come in when Colin needs a, a, a blow here or, or Justin does to come in and really play the guard position for us and, and run the team. He's just tough. He's dependable. He's there every single day. I don't think there is a guy in the locker room that would say, I don't know if Archie's going to play hard today on any given day. On a Monday, 7 a.m. practice, you know Archie's going to be there. You know he's going to play hard and do everything that he can to get the win. And having a guy at the end of your team, like you're always confident in him coming to the court. Like you go to the scorer's table, all right, bet. Chris is coming in, he's gonna bring it. So it's definitely a good feeling to have a guy at the end here. Having the confidence of teammates is apparently a family trait. And playing with the expectations attached to his name is something that Chris understands. It's a mindset and approach that seemingly has always been a part of him. He can run the team. He can get us organized in our offense when we need him to. Um, and then just playing off the ball as well, I think, and knowing that he doesn't just have to be a point guard, but also be able to play off his shot. Um, and his shot has also improved uh, over his time here, and it's going to continue to because he just works at it. If that scouting report of a guard named Archie Diacono sounds familiar, it should. And it's from Ryan's legendary Wildcat career and experience in the pros that Chris continues to learn.
Ryan is a perfect coach, life coach, basketball coach for me. Uh, anytime in the summer that he's home and I'm home, we're always working out together and he's given me t tips on uh, what to do better on the basketball court as well as just how to get through it mentally. And um, So yeah, Ryan is a great coach for that because he's been through all the same experiences that I'm going through now. Chris is a real quiet guy. He doesn't, he, he never mentions Ryan, but you can tell by how he responds to everything in practice, how he responds to difficulties in the game, the difficulties that players have with their ego. Um, an ego can be a good thing, uh, but it can get in your way. And Ryan has always kept Chris humble, but always hungry to get better and confident that his, his shot's gonna come. Ah, the shot. There are those that say Chris is actually a better shooter than his big brother. Is that possible? <laughs> uh, he wouldn't like that answer, but uh, yes. I will take that, I will take that from him. Just like he'll take part of his off-season workout plan from dad, the former Villanova football player. Uh, Joe Arch workout uh, in the summer, we'll do it all the time. It's a lot of uh, dribbling the ball and working on our handle as well as the technique of shooting. So he's the one uh, that's always in there uh, working us out. He's not. He, he played football here at Villanova, but he's a basketball guy at heart, and he's been the one that has groomed Ryan and I to be, uh, be the player where we are today. In many ways, this story seems predestined. Villanova was home. I mean, I grew up watching Villanova basketball, so I understood Villanova basketball, and that's just the way I played it in my whole life growing up. I tried to emulate what uh, they were doing here and just try to be the hardest playing guy on the floor. I think it was going to be the best spot for me uh, after my time here.